Okie doke. Um, we got as far as when in two, I think, last time. Um, one line away, one line and a few words away from the end of page 10. Um, what happened before? When in Tapis Christjet, um, Herjet, um, Na. Ma ash tu en hor genaset upute, yeah, uputu. So, um, the, 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 the Eniad said, um, give that Horus and Seth be called so that they shall be separated, judged, whatever we want to translate that verb as. And I think that's where we left it. So, yeah, who wants the next one? I'll go. All right. Thank you. Mm. So we have so winning do any do my bar. There we go. Uh, yeah. So then we have ta the subject. J N E never jer. Maba ta pesejet eat. Oh, wait. yes, eat. Ni heru. Ana setesh. Mm -hmm. And we have e. Shemet. Yes, yeah, yeah, Shemet. Mm -hmm. Sejem tu. Pa jed e. NT or N10? Uh huh, yeah. yeah. I think it stops there. Oh, well, I yeah. guess Amy stopped there. <laughs> I think it's fair. <laughs> it's quite a bit of grammar yeah. in there, too. Mm -hmm. So let's go up to here. Perfect. Okay, then. All right. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we go. All right. So then, uh, <clears throat> so then one was. Then one was brought before the Pesejet, or then you? Yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, yeah. Because you have so a double have, two. Mm hmm. Any two. When in two, any two. Then one was brought before. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, how does that when in work? If the when in has. A subject, then it well it has the subject already. So the subject, like you said, is one. Um, then the only question would be, what is the second two after the in? Or maybe let me ask a different way. Uh, grammatically, what's the ini? So would be the ob so it's, it's acting. So it's, it's not it's an object, right? The object of what is it? An object of. You mean so the two? No, well, I have, I know when, so when in, oh, well, no, this is the particle. It's like a particle. Well, the, the, the when in, right? Mm -hmm. You're right. So so it's a verb here. So any, any is a verb here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is the object of the verb. What in do? Wait, no, 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 it's not the object. Well, yeah, because he didn't, one didn't bring. Then one, ah, then one brought, then one was brought. Uh, close. Then one brought, I like better. Then, so we have a particle, the verb. So then, then one was brought before. Then one was. So I'm trying, I'm trying, I, I don't know. Did one bring or was one brought? Is what I'm trying to parse out, right? Uh, right. Um, let's do an analogous one. Like, for example, here, when in tapesajet hajet. So mm -hmm. the when in is followed by the by the subject, right? And then comes mm -hmm. the the hajet uh, infinitive construction. So if you look down here, it's the same thing. When in sute hajet, uh, same thing. So if you attack it that mm -hmm. way, would, so the subject follows right after the when in. So then the, the first two should be the subject, right? And then this puppy here mm -hmm. must be the infinitive. 
I think that's how it works. Um, it's behaving. Okay, so this verb here then is is the object of of winning. Yeah, could think about it that way. I'm not sure. I'm. I would call it an object. Um, no, I was saying that because you you said that it's an infinitive, and I know infinitives have these nominal features about them, right? They they they're they're really just verbal nouns, right? Correct, correct. And I'm so, sort of I'm sort of missing a herd here. So let me see if uh, let me take a quick peek here. If uh, if the if they add in her, a herd here in uh, um, in that is online before I say anything too wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's so, so much stuff. Um, one more. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, they think it's a herd. So they think the ini is a um is an infinitive, which makes sense. So that's all good. So yeah, this is sort of like um you can think of it almost like a prefix, uh, with the mm -hmm. two being the subject, followed by the infinitive. And then if you have the infinitive followed by another another pronoun, what's that what's that pronoun then of the infinitive? Um, dependent, we're well, not as let's um, Middle Egyptian would be dependent, that's right. Um, right. So, what do we call them here? Um, so you brought, so you brought, um, man, I forgot the name of this stuff. <laughs> Look at my notes. Yes. Is that a direct object pronoun then? It is, mm -hmm. that's right. Because we already have a subject pronoun, so it must be the direct object. Then, the question is, what form is it? That's exactly what I was trying to get. So you, this here already takes the role of the subject. So this here can only be an object. So um, the subject is one. And then this here, this W must be. So, so, it, so you'd parse it as T U T W dot W maybe. Like the plural right. strokes are actually the suffix. That's right, exactly. Uh, let me see if I can add some text to it to make it clearer. So it's when in, I don't know how to, when in two, I guess, like this. Um, then a missing her, and then in infinitive ending, and then, geez, I'll do it this way. Um, if that makes some sense. <laughs> but so, so is that whole thing the object or just the because you have a you have a well what's it a whole thing i mean the verb the verb in and um ini and to or um so i wouldn't yeah the reason i, I paused here when you said object is but let's see what's a good analogy let me think analogy let me think of one um for example U F oops, sorry, wrong script. Um U F uh, no U F others uh the sejim. He will listen. So the sejim is an infinitive. Um this is a future three, right? So he will listen. What is the U F? I mean it's a verb but there's a it's a verb with a, in a way, huh? Do you want to think of the U as a verb? It isn't really a verb either. It's some kind of particle with a suffix pronoun right. after it. And then comes some kind of adverbial construction. That's what it is here too. So you have something that's sort of like verboid or, or prefix particle followed by, by an adver adverbial predicate, um, which is consisting of a preposition heard and uh, the infinitive. And the infinitive then carries an object. Um, a direct object. Right. So gotcha. let's make that into something. And then English. they left out, and mm -hmm. then they actually left out the hair because they always do. That's right. <laughs> Unless when they don't. Yeah. Well, you need it in the future, right? Most of the time. So like, I think it's more consistent. The, uh, in the future, sometimes they drop it too, but I don't think they drop it yet at this stage. Mm -hmm. But like in Vernon, I think it, it sometimes falls out, for example. So, 
Mm-hmm. But really, this is more like this is more like just like a, a hair plus infinitive um, construction, really. Right? Correct. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got you. Got you. Right. And then who is the who is the object of the infinitive? Right. That's right. Makes sense. Let's translate this puppy. Right. Yeah, also, if you think in the context of the whole thing, so the Ineat has just said, um, Give that one call or one summon, um, Horus and Seth, went into, into, Emba. and they were brought. Exactly. That's exactly Yeah. It. And then they and were brought. They were... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For yeah. Pesajet. Mm-hmm. That's right. Then Nebajer said mm-hmm. before the Pesajet, or, or the great Pesajet. Okay. Wait, no. Wait, is that the great? Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see a, um, I see a knee there. Oh, two horse, sorry. The two Horus. Mm-hmm. That's right. The great Pesajet said two Horus. Along with, together with Set. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Ishama. Um, so go. Wait, no. You are um, going out. Both, right? And, and here. All right. And here. Wait, that dot. Is that dot a um or that's just something this year? I didn't put this there before. Yeah. The the mysterious much glove. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it's often there when when there would be a T in the infinitive or there would be um sometimes like a like a Y. To replace the uh, the T, it loves to sit on top of the walking legs. And what exactly it does is not clear to me. If anybody knows, um, it, it's it's called a smudge glyph, but it's it's fairly consistent. So they had some reason why they wrote it, um, but what exactly that right. reason is, I don't know. And, and it doesn't always look like a smudge. Sometimes it really does look like, like just a dot, but often it's a little wiggly. So it it looks a lot like what he draws for either a T or the little uh, double strokes. Mm-hmm. Except when Gardner knows that it's not the double strokes by grammar, he transcribes it as a smudge. Right. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's do the last part. So come uh, no, or go, I guess, in this case. Mm-hmm. Go. And then. Uh, Sejamin do. So one. Or, or you hear? Um, yeah, that's really interesting. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, and hear what? The voice, their voice. Oh, no, no. Oh, this is kind of wonky here. So we have pa, jed, and jet. Is that a genitive? Pa, jed, and den. The. Says, I speak to them. I speak to you, excuse me. Um, I speak to mm-hmm. you all. But this pause. You're dominating so, it. Mm-hmm. That's right. Right. So I said it's not. But you have, how would you to form? So those pies. I say to you. So that I say to you. That's right. It's a it's a late Egyptian relative. Uh, listen to listen to um, that what I'm saying to you or what I say to you. That's right. That's right. Um, then the only tricky part in there is what to make out of um, what to make out of this. You touched upon it briefly. Like, is it a you in in Middle Egyptian, you would think it's a you. You would think it's a, it's basically like a second person um, uh, dependent pronoun. 
Um, however, what happens, and I had to look this one up, what happens with the imperative in um, in Dave Egyptian is that you can just add a two to it um, as like a reinforcement. Uh, Neveu has that. Um, well, he has it if I can find it. Cute. Move. Here we go. Um, Wait. There we go. Imperative. Um, so imperative, mostly the naked form of the verb, unless it gets a little little prophetic yacht in front of it. And then down here is a helpful, a helpful hint from Nivu. The imperative can be reinforced by various expressions, which are the two. In reality, the, the dependent pronoun that's basically not understood anymore is a dependent pronoun anymore. An ethical dative, which we've seen before, so just basically like a duck, for example, um, right after the imperative, or um, also just a particle me, but later becomes ma in in, uh, in Coptic. So those three options to uh, strengthen an imperative. And I think that's what we have here. So what you had is correct. Um, listen to what I have to say. No, listen to what I say to you, to you, plural. All right, very well done. So that one had some tricky, tricky grammar in it, but I think we covered it all. Unless anybody has any questions about this one, I don't have any questions. But does does this bit sound particularly formal to anyone else? Like with the repeating of in back. And like the complicated construction with the, the passive and the imperative. And I wonder if this is supposed to suggest, okay, court is in session, the Lord is speaking, everybody pay attention. And then it's funny because he just says, you know, get out of here. <laughs> Stop bothering everyone. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of us, but. <laughs> Could be right. I mean, the, uh, the Enneat is mentioned three times in a row, and every yeah. time with like, like in Bach, like this is a public it. pronouncement. <laughs> Certainly ramping it up a yep. bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be. Because, yeah, I just wonder because, like, so far, like, we've had the quarrels going on, people running off in the mountains, people doing things in secret, Roz, you know, sleeping in his tent because it's too much. And now it just feels very, I don't know, to me, it feels very formal. <laughs> Right. Okay, I'm actually going to do something about these two. <laughs> could be, could be. I mean, after all, it's a pronouncement of the Nepal of Jail, right? So. <laughs> yes. Well, very well done on this one. Should we continue? Who wants to take the, the next part? What he actually what he says apart from listen to um listen to what i say to you or what i see yeah, what i say to you anybody wants to take us home to so the I next one in? all right all right okay so i just had the, listen to what i say to you in 10 and this is oh this isn't many this is uh this is warm, right? Yeah, it's warm. That's what I'm thinking too. Where, where does the end go? Where does the end go? Egyptian. I think it's Wenham. <laughs> Wenham. Yeah, so so Wenham. Okay, so W N M. Wenham ten. So eat. Mm -hmm. Swurry ten. Drink. Mm -hmm. Hotep and then. Um, so this is like drink until you're until you're satisfied or something. Oh, interesting! I thought it was just like be satisfied using the the uh, the. Oh, as, as a verb. As okay. A verb. Um, I think it's us though. Drink so that we may be at peace. Well, that is. Hatep Oh, okay. But that's really interesting. You're right. Hatep. I, I just mentally put a ten there, but you're right. That is that is a nem. You're oh, right. Okay. Oh. Huh. So eat and drink so that we are at peace. Okay. That kind of works with the context. It, it actually does. And then it's... Uh... So how does this go? So Rui 10. 
มีนาเอชัดชัดชัดชัดเคารูเนบเซบเซบเซบ and I can't remember what Rui is but ชัดชัด I I wonder if that's automatic like it's quit quit jabbering all the all day on and on <laughs> Mm-hmm. And on and on. Like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, Rui was removed. That was the one that we had when the the front parts of um, uh, of Nemti or Auntie's uh, feet were removed as punishment. Oh. It's the same thing. Um, I think so it could also just mean stop. Cut yourselves off. Yeah. Stop exactly. Yourselves. Like, cut okay. it out. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what it is. Um, and Mina. Mina. Yeah, Mina. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, me means like, and Na mm -hmm. is usually the um, plural definite articles. But and that's what it is, like that. Maybe like... it's not. Yeah. Okay. Oh, like it's, cut it's yourself just... like that, chattering all day long. Mm -hmm. So it's pointing at the the chatter noun. Yeah, that that surprised verb, yes. me a bit. Honestly, I would have suspect uh, expected that to come after the verb, like chat shit, mina, but apparently not. It's kind of weird that it comes after the rui, right? Rui to mina. Yeah. Um. Hmm. But yeah, that I mean that's what it is. It's like a a new uh, late Egyptian adverb, basically meaning like this in this manner. Um. So stop with the endless quarreling. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Calm down, eat something, drink something, so we can get some peace and stop with the endless quarreling. <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, the only thing that bothers me now is that God man, just doesn't want to be bothered. <laughs> he's had it. What's with that end though? Um, An end? Yeah. I completely missed that, but I. Read the text before. Let's see. Okay, um, so this is the subjunctive, right? Yeah. May you eat, sweeten, okay. may you drink, and we will be satisfied. Okay, may we be satisfied? Okay, like you said, I guess it works in context. So these are all just three subjunctives. So the, the So the nen is an object pronoun there, or is it the subject? It's a subject. Um, those are all okay. all subjunctives. So, so may a, you eat, may mm -hmm. you drink, may we be satisfied. That's right. Like Aaron said. Okay. Well, I think that's it, right? Anything else to be said about right. it? I mean, maybe this is re uh, rhetorical. Like, may you? Well, how did they? How did they render Rui in the Ramses Online version? Let's have a look. We said cut it out. Uh, so stop it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So stop it. Stop it like this, quarreling all day long. I mean, you could do that in English, right? Like. Um, adding that it's not you're not fronting it, but you're basically putting it at the back, like 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 an add-on, like tagging it on, like stop being like this, quarreling all day long, all day long, all day long, basically steps in, steps in. So maybe that's what they're doing here. I'm still a bit bothered by the mina being like right in the middle of the sentence, but maybe it's just a rhetorical thing to make it sound better. Hmm. Should we? Oops. Should we look at the hieratic together? Probably. We're about to go off the screen. <laughs> okay. Well, then let's have a look. When in, when in two. I'll go a bit bigger here. Hold on. When in two. In two. Okay. Double strokes. M Bach. Um, ta, 
it's just a bit weird with the uh, the beginning of the of the sun disk with the uh, Uraeus on it, like basically going into the D, but we know what it is. This jet. Um, Bird on a stick and plural strokes. Exactly, like you exactly. Kind of carefully in there. <laughs> trying to find my bearings here with all the, the verticals, but that's exactly what it is. Uh, jet in Neb, Neb L J. That's all familiar, I think, by now. Um, Embach, Embach, Ta, Pestjet again. And not any, but Pestjet Oye or something, or Aye, or Ayet. Want... Sorry, hang on. The for the Embach, where where is the Y one? Is it that little thing there where you're pointing? Oh, boy, good question. You're right. Like it's normally there, but it seems very abbreviated yeah. here. It seems very tentative. Tentative. Yeah, I'm looking for another one for comparison. And of course, so there's one just so. the line before. I think. Yeah, Gardner just before. has a smudge there instead of the Y one. And I think that's justified. Ah. I'm just looking at this. Ah, here it is. But then what about this one? I mean, this has more of a... Of a... What should it look like? It should look like a Z, right? That's what it should look like. Yeah, that, that one looks more like a, a Z. Mm -hmm. Before the M? It's not a bird on a stick, is it? What, what am I looking at there? No, I'll it's see. it's it's the drip from the phallus. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just a solid drip now. It's just a solid drip. <laughs> yeah. Not getting into the medical condition here, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Nikita called the action, I think, at one point in time. Or, or, or was it ET? I forgot. The it's action. Some, the action. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a very good way. Integrate the action. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, I agree. That that doesn't really look like a Z here, does it? So maybe it's just a smudge. Although in this case, I would almost argue, let's keep it this way because we know that's what he meant. <laughs> I don't know. What you all think? Can it be some flaking, perhaps? Mm, honestly, yeah. it looks pretty, pretty intact, doesn't it? I mean, when I think about how I write handwriting, you know, <laughs> I think he made yourself a really. Yeah, I, I don't see any flaking, but it maybe yeah, he just didn't get his pen down before he started this. Started the the Z. Like, I mean, yeah. I would keep it as is, honestly. Um, Tapestjet, Tapestjet I. So this is a T here. And look at this. I mean, this we transcribed as a as a Y one. Because what else should it be? But it's really only like what does God know for this one? He has a full Y one for that. One. So that's a Y one. Yeah, this is just a dot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we can grandfather grandfather those in. Uh, and Hor. Miss Horace. Hor. There's the bird on a stick. There's a bird on a stick. Uh, Hor, What's the little cross on the bird on the stick? Is that a? Well, this is this just is... breakage. Is that a uh, like a, f a flake? Okay. Yeah, right. wear and tear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different color. Yeah. Just like this here as well. It just seems to be a, a break in the papyrus. Um, nice Seth animal. Um, Isheme. Isheme. Okay, then the sedum, which looks really more like walking legs, but it isn't. It's really sedum. Sedum, then the um, Y1 and plural strokes. Two. We can shoot into it. Um, what do we have here? Is that a two? Yeah, it's a two. It's a two, two, pa, jed. You know, any jed, but jedi. 
Jerry and Ten or Noten or Natin or something like this. Um I don't know. Women. Women. Wow. You really have to know, huh? Yeah, so you have is... to know that's an M. <laughs> exactly. I mean this is typical. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, the unit the unum or whatever is so that's if, what it has to be. Yeah, if somebody hasn't seen those so much, so the im is not you would think it would be spelled like a or written like a downward stroke and a cross stroke, but it's always two. Like vert, vertical, vertical, and then a long horizontal to it. Um just so I guess that's the only way how I can tell that this is an M, because it doesn't look like an M at all. Um A2 man. 10 again, that part is clear. Um, Sui, I mean, the R isn't pronounced at this point in time anymore. They just write it because of historical reasons. So Sui, water, but not red, of course. A2 man, 10. What's going on here? Weird. Hotep like this. Should we look up Hotep again? I don't really remember what it looks like. Oh, that's student. Mm, can it give number? Nope. We use the time to clean up all the drawings. R4. Okay, zero, 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 004. Nope. Hmm. Uh, what category is that in again? Something with offerings, isn't it? Yeah, temple furniture. Temple furniture, which they have under Q. Oh, okay. Q80. I mean, why use the same codes? What? <laughs> uh, Q80. Don't mess with the gardener numbers. I know. Um, oh, how do I bring this? Jesus. Not my day. No oh, way. Oh, because I'm in the wrong. That's my problem. I was in the wrong. Um... There we go. My there words. we go. I was trying to use the other uh, catalog. Um... So it starts out as you think it would start out. Just like the, it looks pretty much exactly like the Y1. Well, almost, right? It has like a little, it has an extra. So let me do this. Middle Egyptian hieratic. The Y1 looks like this. This looks very similar. It just seems to have an extra, an extra thingy. Okay, and then I guess that's ligatured with the T below. I think so. So it just ends up as a double zigzag. Well, let's go a little bit further how the, this puppy develops. So it keeps the Y thing. That seems to be characteristic, um, which is interesting. And then, yeah, it basically has ears. Yep. So like a D with ears or an R with ears on it. Let's see. Does that fit to what we're seeing here? Um, okay, here are the ears. Here's the D-like thing, and then there's the T underneath. So that makes some sense. Does everybody see that? So this is basically, it starts out as this, just a funny thing here, then it goes into the T, but then essentially separates that 
and it makes this here one big ligature at the bottom. So this here is actually the 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 header. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes some sense. Uh, what did a tip N, I guess, even though it's a double N, I guess only one is pronounced. Uh, Rui, uh, Rui Ten, Mi Na, um, Chachet, Renib, Renib, Renib. Okay. I think we can get another sentence in there, unless there are any questions or comments. No. I all right, well done. Well, then who wants the next one? I can take it. All right, it's yours. Uh, when in Sutech her dread and her, then uh, Seth said to Horace, uh, me irin iri en uh, haru nefer, Empa, oh, empa -y her. Um, okay. So come, come, let's um, spend a day, spend a good day. Holiday? Is her enough for holiday? Oh, I don't know that. Maybe. Good day, spend a nice day. Let's spend a nice day. Right. Um, in my house. Very good. What do you make grammatically out of um, Irien? I'm trying to think of the verb form. It's not coming to me. Okay. Uh, would be one of the such maps. It's the perspective. So okay. um, often after after an imperative, so come and okay. then and then followed by the perspective, translated like you said. Uh, let's spend a, let us spend a, a beautiful day or a good day in my house. Okay, very well done. Want to tag on another one? This was kind of short, or sure. Okay. <laughs> um. I just lost my place. Oh, uh, when in her, her Jed and F, uh, then Horace said to him, uh, Iri Mac, uh, Iri, Iri. Um, so uh, then Horace said to him, um, I, I will. Um, see, I will, I will. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Just a way how to say yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, any anything else to point out? I can't think of anything, honestly. I think it's pretty much it, right? Perfect. Well, then quick look at the hieratic. When in Sutech Jed and Chor. Um Wait. This is wild. We've yeah, seen that before, is, remember? Tricky to match up. I remember we've seen this one before. Uh, this ligature for, for M and Ma. Which is, Can you is, zoom in on it a little more? Of course. Here we go. So we've got some flaking here, too. We've got a little bit yep. of flakiness going on here, right? Um, Looks like it's actually a, a sheet join right there. Like it runs all the way down the page. Like, like they made papyrus only so big, and then to make the scroll, they have to glue edges together. And oh. it's flaked off a lot right there. You mean this thing? Yeah, it's actually a seam. Yeah, I think that that is. Yeah, that's not real. That's. Oh wait, no, that's the. That could be. I'm assuming that's bird on a stick. I think it's a bird on a stick. Yeah. That's what that is. You're right. Whoops. One too many. So this is what's going on here. Here's a bird on a stick. And then this is like a very cursive M and just tilted sideways. It doesn't look like this, but it looks more like more like that. And then there's the uh, the iron hand underneath. 
I think that's what that is. Um, how do you say that in, wait, this one is, this is Amu in Coptic, right? Amu, come. Amu, and then, yeah, uh, let us, let us uh, pass a beautiful day. Okay. Clear this up. Push. Um, just going to look at this real quick. If there's anything that stands out. Um, it's a very vertical R here. I mean, we yeah. know it. It has to be, or maybe it is not an R. Um, because often Heru is not spelled with an R anymore. Just like in, in Coptic, it becomes Ho. So it could already be be how. Um, so what would this then be? Uh, we'd have to look at, at Lesko now, but there's a, a few different spellings that don't necessarily have an R in there. I wonder what we should make out of this. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, they spell they, they think it's an R. Okay. I guess. Hmm. With a lot of imagination, you could see an R in there. But. Hmm. Not sure because I know you can also see it like it can even have an olive bird in there, right? Something like this. Then a, a U. I think I've seen that too. But yeah, uh, but do we know what Gardner has? Gardner has an R. Okay. I'm not going to argue with him. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like, let's go has some spellings with just. The downward strokes right like if you can't tell what it is exactly it's more like hey it's one of the most common words and the r is not pronounced anymore so why write one yeah um i mean it looks more like an r than it looks like an aleph to me but it's it's not an aleph for sure um i was just wondering if it could be more like a generic something something stroke but maybe it's an r Oh, here you go, Aaron. Lesko has Harrow Nefer for holiday, as holiday. So. Hey. Cool. Good memory. I knew I'd heard that somewhere, but I don't know that that's what he means in this case. Yeah. Unless it's Saturday or a long weekend. <laughs> Let's take a day off from calling. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> Nefer, as you would expect. Um, and uh, push. Empai, Empai pair, very vertical pair. Um, when in or her, here the her is spelled out, Jed, Nef, Iri, or Irai, or however that was pronounced, um, Mik. You have to know that this is uh, Y and Y1. Did I sips now? Yeah, sips now. Only one sips now. All right. One sips now. Only double once. So does it mean anything that they're using uh, A1 for the personal pronouns here instead of the word on a stick? Mm, that's a good question. Have they not done that most of the time, though? It's funny that our gods here, when they speak about themselves, usually write themselves as simple men or women, I thought. Yeah. It's only when someone else is referring to them, it seems like that they get the right. line. Yeah, I think that's, it's, it's actually very funny. You'll see that in the next sentence too. Um, at the end, we have uh, uh, cease now, two men. And I mean, they're clearly not two men. Uh, it's a dude walking around with a falcon head and uh, another one with some kind of animal features we don't have, we haven't managed to identify yet. So I'm not, but then again, this becomes like a counter. We've seen that before that, uh, that in late Egyptian, C is not 
not a damage, it's not Rome, but it's basically just like a counter word, um, the two of them. So maybe it was basically, the both. it basically means pair, yeah, yeah, more like a pair. Hmm, which actually puts us on the way to the next sentence. I think we can get one more in there. Hey, all the X rated parts are for next time, then. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the last safe sentence. Who wants it? <laughs> it looks uh, short, so I can try it if you like. Absolutely. By um, the way, I am just, as you know, very bad. So where are we starting from? We're starting from the her ear up here. So her her ear. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that branch is. Uh, het. Um, normally it's a word for wood, het, but uh, em het is a preposition, after. Oh, em het. Mm -hmm. Ter mm. i. Mm -hmm. um, now that is, is that the sun thing there, the sun, the round thing? Right. And normally you find the sun after what kind of words? Gods. Possibly, but then there's another whole category, more mundane. Forgotten. Uh, any kind of time words, like hour, time, oh, day. 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 Right. In this case, it's time. Teddy is time. Okay, Teddy. N Am I in the right place? N -ru. And then that's the house sign. Her, her. Hmm. Um, her ma? No, I can't. Don't know what that bird is. Uh, Aleph bird. Um, ah. Not normally pronounced as an as an ah in Egyptological pronunciation. So ha. I'm just guessing here. Ha. To and stop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. We. Mm -hmm. Um. Something to do with the sky and a star. Day, so maybe night time. Yeah, that's right. And then Coptica would be Rucha. Um, and let's quickly do this. Rucha or Ruche? Maybe it's Ruche. So it's auto, auto correcting to Ruche here, evening. Uh, so yeah. So it's the same word actually, Ruche. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, then um, that's to show the, the, the starting to do time and then. Iut. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You too, or you too. Mm -hmm. Um, sir, sh or sir, I can't, is that sure the bottom one? It is. It's sesh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, sesh. That looks like temple furniture. <laughs> Got a dude on top now. Oh, gosh, he's dead. Or maybe just sleeping. <laughs> maybe he's just sleeping. Sleeping because it's night time. <laughs> that's right. That's right. The wow! Sun... Fancy sleeping on a table like that. Uh, yeah. Without moving. Take some practice. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, just to be irrelevant, my daughter, when I when she's coming to talk to me late at night, she then says, "Now I'm going to tuck you in like a mummy," and she goes like that and sticks my feet up, and she says, "Now you're a real mummy." Oh, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. So, I mean, this is all going to be guesswork. So, well, let's have I finished that sentence or not yet? Not quite. There's a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Shall I just start at this bit? Yeah. Um, could try. The thing is, this one. Yeah, here... okay. Let's keep. Okay. So, sleeping, asleep. Did anybody find this one in the dictionary? Because I did not. Z Sesh. Did anybody yeah, have it? it's like, yeah, it's like spread out. Like I think it's to like make a bed, basically. Okay, okay. I think, which is how they also transcribe translated on Ramses online. So I'll, I'll run with it. Uh, prepare the bed or something, maybe. Should we do that? But it's entirely context based. I don't think the word is is is, uh, is transmitted in any other meaning. I think so. Let's let's run with that. Okay. So you to sesh, uh, you to sesh, and then you to sesh, 
this is the part of the prepare because it's an activity. They have like a little man with a stick here, okay. which goes uh, with a um uns niu. Yeah, and that's where the next sentence starts. So let's pause here. Um, but in sen, right? Um, okay. okay, sen. All right. So what do you make out of it so far? Where am I starting? Uh, from her ear in Mchet. Okay. Um, her is, is the Is it some kind of instruction? Um, some kind of yeah. const construction or instruction? Sorry, no, yeah. instruction. Not necessarily. I mean, uh, the year we had in the, the Ramses Online sessions, it's basically meaning um, Come. like as for or when. And her was basically the closest equivalent to and or while. So uh, if you put the two together, you could make it into and when. And when, sorry guys, um, ma would, what does would mean again? Emchet normally means after. I wonder if here it just means afterwards, actually. Okay, afterwards, um, go. Oh, this still belongs together. Um, this is all one thing. So ignore the, the little walking legs. Okay, why have we got walking legs there? Legs there. Wonder if that's coming. Wonder from if an, that's coming from an another verb, another or verb, another, or another word basically, or, or another word basically. Sometimes they. Hmm, sometimes tries. Hmm, hear myself tries. There's an echo. Yeah, it's an echo. Yeah, it's an echo. echo. Oh, I guess now we all do. <laughs> Oops. Um, I'm wondering if I'm head, if there's like another, what they sometimes do is that they take um, the terminative from another similar sounding word and they just spell it that way. Um, nothing too much to, like, let me see. That's a good question. Um, head, oops. So this is the base word wood, right? Head. And then you have. You have had um, through, throughout. Okay. So I guess because that is kind of a spatial preposition, you have the walking legs in there. And then from that, you have M had, which of course is not in my list. Okay. Annoying. Um, try it this way M had, M had. Did they just say behind? Oh, here it is, after. Um, there you go. That's it. Okay. So I've lost... Uh, so after... We're, oh, <laughs> I've lost afterwards. where we are in the sentence. What, so what have we said so far? Um, yeah, we had... And then, for the first part. And then after. Afterwards. Mm -hmm. Three... Um, which was, I don't know. Time. Mm -hmm. Time. I'm in. Mm. I'm off. Mm -hmm. That's right. And to Ruhe. Ruhe. It has a oh, night day, time. day, night. Evening. Mm -hmm. night, of night, evening. Mm -hmm. That's right. You, 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 you too. Mm -hmm. Um, I is it, I go. Um, not a bad idea, but this is just um the the auxiliary you, not the you to walk, which would be spelled with walking legs. The one you're thinking of has the has a little pair of legs there. Okay, help me. Sure. Um, this is what later in Coptic becomes the um, the just the the a that you see all over the place, like the um, guys. What's it called again? 
not conditional, but the not but the. the what oh, was circum circum circumstantial. Thank you. It's a circumstance. It's a circumstantial you. Um, and however, you plus suffix plus her just means um, it's like a past tense narration kind of thing. So, like for example, you f. Oops, sorry. You f her sedgem would be he listened. Literally, he was upon listening, but um, it's just. Uh, it's just uh, a verb form to basically that's used for past narration. And then if you had you two, it would be one listened, right? Because the two is the the impersonal. Um, so that's what you're looking at here. You two, uh, sesh. One um, bed or prepare a bed. Which okay. is it? One prepare the bed. Mm -hmm. Prepare one, the bed. Uh, and one prepared the bed, you're almost there. Um, one prepared the bed, nasen or ensen. Um, of sleep. Uh, what is sen? Um, is it female? Uh, in the singular, it would, it would be, set would be female. That looks like... Um, that looks like this. That, oops, sorry. I'm changing writing direction, forgive me. Um, the male, the masculine would be su. You. And the plural is. You all. Yeah, just this is the third person. Not you all, but. Them. That's right. You got it. Okay, thanks, guys. Sorry. It's the only <laughs> way I'm going to learn. That was painful. Not at all. I thought that went pretty... I mean, hey, <laughs> we have it. So, yeah, that's it. So, the whole sentence would be... And then, afterwards, time of evening. They love to do this. They don't say in the time of evening. They just say time of evening. Um, uh, so, and then, afterwards... At the at night time or the time of evening, I should say, um, one prepared the bed for them. Uh, uh, what? Who's going to bed? Uh, Horace and Seth will be together. Oh, this is it. Is this the bit that's that could be controversial if one was in the deep south? I, I thought we were going to get there today, but basically, the expected <laughs> content start starts uh, next next time. <laughs> okay. Okie doke. Thank you so much. Sorry, everyone. Is thanks for having me. No, absolutely, no worries. Oh, don't don't apologize. <laughs> All right, guys. Then I would so, say let's continue there in two weeks. Enjoy your sleep. Thank you. <laughs> have, a, have a whiskey. Yes. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.